Hey guys, it's Michael Stewart here with another Carl Paintshop Pro tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to create a simple wedding invitation. So let's get started. So we start off by going to File, New, and here we'll set the dimensions of our wedding invitation. Um, let's create a 4 by 6 wedding invitation. Um, that's a standard orientation. Um, for wedding invitations so you hit ok and there we have it a nice fresh work area to, to begin messing around with so we go over to our flood fill tool and we're going to add a white background so there we have it um, white background to start with and then we can hit our pick tool well our text tool so we we go over to our text tool and we write the names of the persons so let's come up with a name um simone s i m o n e walters w a l t e r so we hit apply changes and we bring this to our center and then of course it's a wedding invitation so we would want to add a, a more scripted font more like a handwritten font just so that it has you know more of an elegant look so we can start if you don't have these fonts you might need to download them or just find something that matches what you would want i have a great font here that is called great vibes um so we're going to make this black so i'm left clicking and right clicking um, in my case my stroke was my stroke was, was set to 2 so let's bring that down to 0 and hit apply changes so y right away we see we start to get some um, some nicer looking font so we could duplicate this and bring this down and then with the text tool selected we can edit the bottom one by clicking inside it so control a to select all and then simone walters is getting married to um jakes bennett b-e-n-n-e-t-t -E -T. all right and apply changes again the general wording of a wedding invitation well you can word an invi wedding invitation just about any way so we'll start off by so some using some of the traditional ways you are cordially invited to celebrate the marriage of and then the following name so control a we're going to change the font size so I'm using the mouse wheel just rolling it to reduce the size rolling it upwards and then we're going to change the font style to a more legible font I like using this one Trajan Pro so hit enter so again you would, you may need to download these fonts if you wish to um, use the exact fonts but the the rule of thumb in designing is that this well my rule of thumb the smaller I make fonts the more legible I try to make the font style so you know generally speaking curly fonts don't 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 usually um, look good um, when they're extremely small they're harder to read so these are large so being in a curly scripted font um, they, they work just fine so there we have it and then we're going to add an and so so I click the background layer go back to our text tool and click just about anywhere and I'm going to use this symbol for and, and I'm also going to make this control a or we can highlight it I'm also going to make that great vibes 
increase the size a little and then hit apply changes and we're going to put this just about in the center here and so far so good okay so we have you are cordially invited to celebrate the marriage of Simone Walters so Walters needs an S Simone Walters and Jake's Bennett so where are they getting married what time are they getting married um, will a reception follow so of course so let's we can duplicate the top font so duplicate with the pick tool I selected the top font then go over to that layer and duplicate it and then I'm going to move the duplicated layer down and then edit this one to add in the rest of the information so so you are cordially invited to celebrate the marriage of Simone Walters and Jake's Bennett on Saturday July 27th two thousand and seventeen seventeen so let's put the 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 month day and year in a different line so on saturday july 27 2017 enter at rich mon months Park Church at two at just checking to ensure that I'm getting some recording. So at two in the afternoon awesome and then um, we could say reception follows at mm, Richmond Richmond Park Hotel. So we can maybe style, um, add, make this section here a little bit more attractive. Keeping things consistent, we're going to use by the same font. Great vibes. And then increase the size of this. Maybe we could make the R. And the F um, capital so looking nice so what this needs now um, are some wedding invitations are pretty simple um, designs to do so text and just some if it if if, if, you, if you were to compare it with food you would just add some garnish in the gar the garnish in this case would be maybe some floral designs so I went ahead and found this floral design that you know looks nice for for the corners and I to find this I, I did a search for corner designs corner floral corner corner floors so you can copy this image or any desired image and with a layer selected I'm going to select the the raster the background layer control V so oh, right here we are getting up some black so maybe a blend mode would fix this so let's try screen that didn't work uh, let's try um, lighten still didn't work let's try darken 
still not working so this floral background will be difficult to use because it was original in a PNG so I guess we're going to learn something this file is a PNG file so if we copy it right away we'll get that um, background so let's save the image so we can save the image um, let's save it in my case let's save it on my desktop and let's call it flower flower alright so I'm going to quickly go to my desktop and then right click on the image flower and open with Corel Paint Shop Pro and there we have the PNG file um, nicely cut out in its original PNG form so we can go back to our design so I went to the floor copy go back to our design we can get rid of this original one this the one that we copied previously and delete that and then control V and there we have it so control V to um, paste so we're going to use this to pretty much benchmark well as guess the colors that we're using for the the wedding I would imagine that this is a very colorful wedding based on the colors that are inside the floral so we can duplicate this again and then rotate it And then bring this to the top edge maybe we can reduce the size a bit just so that it fits nicely and do the same here so that it fits nicely so what I'm going to do, I'm going to sample some colors. I really like this pink here. So I'm going to sample the pink to create um, the coloring for the, w the, the names. So with the text tool selected, I'm going to select the inside, Control A, then click the, the fill color. So that's the right or bottom right um, one here over over our color well materials palette and then I'm going to simply sample this this darker or area of pink and hit OK and apply and we can do the same control A select, the, select this area and we can sample it from the previous color do the same here again for the and sample the color awesome so and then maybe we can make these areas green the so control a let's find a green that we'll be using let's use this lime green I'm seeing here um, this is not looking too legible so let's use a darker all right I'm seeing a, a darker green here so darker looking good do the same for this section here Con so text tool edit the text area here control well select this section here and sample the colors again for this section I, will, I, want, I want to sample use use the same pink that I used here so select this section only 
for example okay down here use it back the same green sample okay and there we have it looking pretty nice already so for this um just to add a little bit more life i'm thinking that we could add a textured background and that would pretty much complete the look for the wedding invitation so let's do a search um light textured textured background let's see what we get when hit images so i'm uh, let's see if this is accessible and view uh, let's try this and see what happens so copy this image go back to our file here and control V to paste it on the inside so let's move it down so I'm just clicking this layer holding it and dragging it below everything and just above our white layer and then I'm going to do some sizing so we can size it down some more and then what I'm going to do I'm going to reduce the opacity of it and hit this not too liking this background so let's delete this and try another one let's try paper paper texture background and see what we get all right something like this so view image again all right this looks like linen so let's copy this go back to our invitation control v and paste and then we can reduce the opacity here zoom in so instead of the back the texture um, looking even straight throughout the design what I'm going to do I'm going to erase parts of it to reveal the, the white section below so grab our eraser tool I'm going to increase the size ensure that the feather is set to zero and erase towards the center of the design maybe I reduce the opacity so that it doesn't erase as much in each go so slightly reduce erase sections so you would notice that towards the center is lighter and as it moves towards the edges you're starting to see more of the texture coming in and there we have it our wedding invitation a simple and quick um, wedding invitation in Corel Paint Shop Pro thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos on, on how to use this wonderful software especially for graphic design purposes peace out and stay cool